Welcome to Audio Tree Live. The date is Friday, April 1st. We are so pleased to have with us live in the studio, Penny and Sparrow. Take it away, guys. Give me one second. Sure. Readjust. Audio Tree Live with Penny and Sparrow in the studio with us. How are you guys today? 
So good. Awesome. Fantastic. We're glad to have you here. Those are great enthusiastic responses. So it. good. It's yeah, not just I, like... I no. bottle up my emotion. But, um, <laughs> I let it out there for just a second. Yeah, in the song, it's it's funny to be seeing this friendly, casual demeanor after hearing that. Um, your guys' has your guys music has a like delicateness to it. Um, however, you did just play South by Southwest. True. Since it was just... Was it just you two on the stage or, or the full band? It was just us. Just us. Mm-hmm. So... Did the madness of South by ever like seep into the venue when you're doing a song like Gold? Did you ever hear some guy selling donuts outside and someone vomiting and a bass drum being sound checked or anything like oh, that? Oh yeah. Well, speaking of seeping, uh, we we <laughs> played uh, our second showcase was uh, above an EDM band, mm-hmm. and so we literally heard them like bleeding through the entire time while, while we were playing our set. So needless to say, it was different. It was a remix of our stuff. Yeah, that happened to my friend's band too. I. I have to admit, when you said, speaking of seeping, I thought that was going to go to some way grosser <laughs> places. It's actually the name of my Surprising autobiography, Speaking of Seeping. So. <laughs> Could be a future uh, album title. <laughs> yeah. um, your latest album, Let a Lover Drown, uh, has a lot more full band arrangements on it, but mm-hmm. it's just the two of you on the road, obviously. Um, what was sort of the rationale behind that transition, going to, like you said before, the Simon and Garfunkel thing, um, and do you prefer one over the other? Uh, we love both. I think that... Um it makes sense to to tour these songs with two people, mm-hmm. just since they are really delicate. And I think it it uh, it's a cool thing uh, to travel around all these cities and have a bunch of people show up and just two people on stage. I mm-hmm. feel like that doesn't happen very often. There's a lot of flash on stages right now, so uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Um, yeah, and with yeah with. Uh, I lost track of what I was saying. That's all right, man. I think part of the reason we wanted to write these <laughs> songs you. and tour with this it this way. Works. He usually is the one who talks. He's, he's your uh, oh, pitch hitter. Yeah. <laughs> pinch hitter. Uh, it's cool to have written music that we feel confident stands on its own two feet with just us. Mm-hmm. We can add a bunch of stuff. We've toured with string trios. We've toured with a guy who plays lap steel and a guy who plays fiddle and stand-up bass and electric guitar and multiple different outfits. But it feels nice to know that if you take all that away, we think the songs stand up on their own. Mm-hmm. And so um, I think in honor of that, we wanted to tour first on this album this way. And if we go out on subsequent tours with other people, then great. Uh, we love doing the full band thing, like Kyle said. But it's cool to just get to travel the, the country with our wives and go and play just the two of us. Oh, it's like a family operation, kind mm-hmm. of. Yeah. It's real nice. Um, awesome. Well, thanks for being here, guys. And let's do another song. Cool. I'm going to have to change guitars really quick. Oh, that's OK. OK. We can just say anything over this, so that way there's no awkward silence for the for the viewers out here. Yeah. While he does this, viewer at home, <laughs> we want you to know a few things. Number one, I know that sometimes our music comes off as heavy-handed and emotional. That's intentional. I'm just looking at camera one right now, <laughs> assuming that that's where all the viewers are at. Um, but we're actually, as you can tell by the in-between speech, uh, we're pretty mellow humans. We like to laugh. Jovial, if you will. <laughs> I'm just buying you some time, dude. You do you. I'm just talking. Like I was saying, listener, watcher, we're jovial. And so here's another just pop banger from the band Penny and Sparrow. Total radio friendly music here. Look for it on the Billboard charts uh, next week. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of bangers, <laughs> hold on to your butts. Behold the way you're feeling You put a rope on everything And it ain't right But you crown emotion Instead of holding me as king It's only thin, it's only pain It didn't make a give you name
drained you soft but violent You're busy seeking other things I don't know why But honesty rarely honestly makes it back to me well, I haven't left, you haven't tried And I haven't changed And I won't tonight live we're in the studio with Penny and Sparrow um I know I'm not the first uh person to ask you guys about this but you have a song called Fantine you have a song called Eponine you have a song called Valjean yeah. um obviously you're huge Les Miserables fans is that True. or is that both of you or is that uh, just you Andy or, or you Kyle I think we both are at this point yeah we both are yeah it it started that uh the 10th anniversary cast edition mm. was like one of my earliest records that like my mom played for me yeah so i know all the cast members like who played who <laughs> and who they carried over to the 20th anniversary to a geeky level so the story is super captivating to me the musical performance is super captivating all of it the novel and so uh, that said it feels cool to get to um, i don't know creatively pay homage to something that was massively impactful to me growing up not only just my love of words but love of story and um I don't know, there's a big tie for us. Like, we both love Broadway. We both yeah. love uh, creative storytelling in that vein. So, um, yeah, we're going to continue that trend, I think, of picking off characters until we run out of them. So we're going to get a Gavroche song and an Andrew Lust song? Man. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I'm we, a theater guy, so, yeah. Dude, <laughs> yeah. no joke. I, when, uh, when I thought about what the next character would be, it's uh -huh. like low-hanging fruit. We knew exactly where the one after this record's going to go. Mm -hmm. But right after that, I was like, shit, what, what's yeah. next? I think it's going to be Gavroche. Oh, man. It's so sad when he... Uh, well, uh, no, yeah. Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't <laughs> read or seen Les Miserables. Um, and so did you... Kyle, do you feel like you liked it just as long, or did Andy kind of have to turn you on to it? Oh, I didn't even know about it, really. <laughs> I was not in theater, but fell in love with it as mm -hmm. soon as um, he showed me. I honestly didn't even see the actual... Uh, movie or play or anything, um, Andy showed me that 10th anniversary where they just sing all the songs, and I was pretty um, amazed by how amazing it was. One it is, makes sense. It's yeah. kind of like falling in love with an album, you know, not yeah. just the, yeah. the show or the story. And are those songs that do ha are named after Les Mis characters, would you say they're literal descriptions of them and where they go, or is it more just taking the themes surrounding them and putting them into a musical context, another it, musical context? It's both and, for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, I mean, there's definitely moments where there's retelling. Like there's a almost plot for plot piece that I wanted to, to retell just because I love the story. But there's also moments where creative license was taken and whatever theme was in the life of Eponine, I wanted to sing about that. I wanted to talk about it. Awesome. Uh, let's hear another song then. Cool. cool. If 
everything old is sewn up And sometimes you heal When I tear down And sometimes you're ripping my stitches out Catalog everyone else Each cut Watching Audio Tree Live, we're in the studio with Penny and Sparrow. Obviously, one of you has a guitar in hand, one of you doesn't. Um, Andy, I, <laughs> as anyone can see, uh, Andy, I admire your ability when you're not singing, just to be able to stand there like rock solid and confident. Um, that's something I know. Of, I oh, feel man. like a lot of singers have a hard time with. I mean, do you do you feel that way, or are oh, you screaming? Oh, a hundred percent. I'm screaming insecurities <laughs> and sentences out of my head. It's one of those things where the second your hand does something, you're mm -hmm. like, my hand shouldn't do that. Hands don't do that. Yeah. The hand's not supposed to be here doing, that. and so I just shove it back in my pocket. And do you have any tricks for like just maintaining the facade? Even if you're screaming inside, how do you yeah. maintain the facade? Uh, I just really, and most of it's just not wanting to look stupid. To mm -hmm. be totally fair, I. So I, I honestly wanted to be, it springs out of a desire for integrity, I think, like wanting to be the same human here mm -hmm. uh, as I am alone, as I am my wife, as anywhere. And mm -hmm. so it felt disingenuous to do things with my hand to try and be yeah. flashy. And again, that's some people that it comes naturally to them. That's how they entertain, do all that. For mm -hmm. me, it felt normal to sing like this. And uh, I'm way more confident with it than I used to be, but I envy having something in my hand to, to hold so that it wouldn't look weird. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Kyle, do you feel like you have the easy job in that? I definitely have the easy job. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Awesome. Uh, are we ready for another song, or do you need a minute to... I'm almost ready. That's cool. You can talk to viewers about how, how casual you guys are again, if you want to. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> so good to see you. Penny and Sparrow here, just tuning. Yeah, just doing our normal tunings. Um, I sort of, we've started certain videos before, like a uh, infomercial, mm -hmm. like where everyone seems to have stumbled upon something secretive. Like they're looking off and they go, oh, hello. <laughs> Good to see you there. Awesome. 
Are you guys good now? Yeah. We're ready. Let's do it, and we'll pretend we just uh, did an informational introduction, which we yeah. kind of did. That's perfect. Oh, hello. Penny and Sparrow. This Here's another strange. song. If we're growing We're watching Audio Tree live, and we are in the studio with Penny and Sparrow, and Andy and Kyle too. Uh-huh. I'm first person to make that joke, probably. That's no, so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a funny joke. Like, it is—it's just the most amazing joke. Everyone at home is laughing right now. Um, uh, Kyle, I know I heard you before warming up with a little bit of uh, the song too. Are you a Ryan Adams fan? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Have you guys toured with him or anything? Or no. Never toured, haven't met him, just love his stuff. Yeah, no, he's, what about you, Andy? A uh, huge fan. He's, he's responsible for a bunch of lyrics I wish I'd written. Like, what, what's, like, your favorite one? Uh, if I could, I'd fold myself away like a card table, a concertina, or a Murphy bed. Ooh. It's from uh, Oh My God, whatever, etc. Oh, yeah, off of, uh, also off Easy Tiger, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Nice, nice. We used to play two at weddings, thinking that it was just a romantic song. Mm-hmm. And then we later found out that it's about <laughs> drug addiction. So it's sorry to all of you people who we did that to. It's like a dozen weddings. No yeah. joke. Early on, we just played for a bunch of weddings of our buddies, and it sounded super romantic. It takes two. It was two of us, babe, when it used to just be one. 
and then some fella came up afterward and was like, I'm pretty sure it's about Quaaludes, man. Yeah. And I was like, oh, well, shit, that's Oops. different. And um, then, like, the best man and the, the whole brow party went home and got addicted to speedballs afterwards. Right. Yeah. Because of our song that we played. Yeah. Right Mission Adam's accomplished. Song. Am yeah. I right? Well, music's powerful, you know? <laughs> it really is. Dark, uh, cool. You ready for the last one? Yep. Yeah. Let's do it. of weakness I could want you but you don't make the shape or the blood of anything I swear and shake you will not take no, you will not take me I'll put away that look cause I've burned every touch I won't be tasting you I know That you never gave a damn about me I know your body All the appeal and all the pain Well, I won't bed down with such a hate Well, Yes, I know I've been held to well since I left. Oh, I know I've been held to well since I left. Oh, I know put away the look. I've gathered and thrown away every touch you took that I. been watching audio tree live we've been in the studio with penny and sparrow thank you guys so much for coming out it's been a real treat thank you this Thanks is awesome awesome um and if you guys are in the chicagoland area you can catch them today uh tonight actually at lincoln hall uh, at 9 p.m and Corey kilgannon is opening yeah, yeah, correct, so right? he's amazing awesome and very pretty very pretty. Yeah, he's, he's a good-looking guy. Tiger beat, 100%. Yeah. Mm, I'll be the judge of that. We'll yeah, see. Come on. <laughs> uh, and you can also get their latest album, Let a Lover Drown, right now. Um, big thank you to the sound engineers, the camera and lighting crew, and everyone in the studio, and, of course, to all you viewers and listeners at home. Um, if you want to support the band and Audio Tree, you can download their session in addition to buying their album. Uh, send a shout-out to us via social media, however you'd like. And from all of us here in the Audio Tree studio, thank you, and have a great, great weekend. <laughs>